Morning guys, what's up? Uh, so this is going to be the first video in a series that I'm going to do and it's basically going to be hand forging a blade. Um, it's going to be beginner blade smithing by a beginner <laughs> because that's what I am. Um, when I started, uh, before I started making any knives, you know, I took some blacksmithing classes and I was doing more, uh, I guess, artistic style blacksmithing. We were doing um, coat racks and uh, meat turners and uh, candle holders, keychains, stuff like that. Um, I had a little bit of an introduction to forging uh, knives with another blacksmith here locally. And then uh, I did end up doing a class with uh, Ray Rybar, who's a ABS master smith, and he is uh, in Arizona. So that was like a three-day class where we went through. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of mimic what I learned in that class. So the steel that I'm going to use is 5160. This is, uh, I think, 2 inch by 6 inch, and it's quarter inch thick. Um, so this is what my knife is starting out as. So basically what I'm going to do in this series is I'm going to go through and I'm going to hand forge, hand forge this piece of steel into a blade um, <clears throat> and I'm by no means an expert I'm a beginner in this uh, I've only hand forged five or six blades I want to say um, most of my blades have been stock removal uh, those of you that follow me on Instagram you see the kind of stuff that I make um, I want to get back into more hand forged blades because uh, the blacksmithing aspect of it and actually forging the blade is more exciting to me than uh, stock removal. But not that stock removal is bad, I'll still continue to do stock removal on uh, some of my knives. And it's, uh, I mean, you're still making a knife either way. They both have different aspects to them and different, uh, you know, ways that you do it. Um, this is just something that was more interesting to me uh, along the blacksmithing lines. So that's what this video is going to be. Um, this may end up being, you know, a two-part video or possibly even three. Um, but what I'm going to do in the video, or this first video at least, is I'm going to get this piece of steel rough forged out into a knife. And then maybe I'll do uh, the next video on grinding, and then I'll do the last video on adding the handles. And the way that it's going to work is, like I said, I'm basically going to follow the class that I did uh, late last year. <clears throat> okay. This is what we're going to do. We're basically going to start. This is our piece of steel. 5160. And what we want to do in the first step is we want to hammer down this top edge so we're basically going to reduce the thickness of the bar by a quarter inch so that's going to lengthen our bar a little and what it's going to do is compact this edge so this is going to be the blade edge eventually the next step that we want to do is we want to take the hammer down edge and we want to use our one inch or three quarter inch round tool and basically put a finger hole here and then you can measure your distance three or four inches whatever you want it to be I guess for your blade length so this is blade handle all right the next thing we want to do is we want to hammer down our handle side. So basically this edge we're going to hammer in. And then this is all going to be as far as you want it to be. So this is everything's just completely on the fly. So once that's done, what we're going to do from there is we're going to basically flip the knife over. 
So we have our hammered down finger spot. We have our blade edge, which is not an edge yet. And then what we want to do from there is we want to hammer this point in like that. So you're starting to get the blade shape now. And then while you're doing this and hammering it, you want to also, you know, constantly be um, straightening your knife. You know, both directions or all directions. So once that's done, then what we want to do is, if you look at it from a top view, is we want to put in a distal taper. So basically this is your finger area ricasso, which is, you know, if we kind of look at it in this view. And then basically what we want to do is we want to forge in a distal taper on the handle side as well as on the blade side. So this is a little exaggerated, but you kind of get the idea. And this doesn't have to be down to zero at the point, but you want to have somewhat of a distal taper in there on both sides. Doing it on the handle side is going to reduce the weight of the handle. Once you do that, you can start to, I guess, shape in your handle, however you want to shape that. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this edge here and you're going to start hammering in your bevels. Now what that's going to do is this point is going to eventually start moving up. So the more that you work the bevels, this material is going to start to spread this way and then the point is going to come up. Now if you get your blade to where the point's sticking up too far, let's say, this is again exaggerated, what you can do is you basically want to flip your knife over so that your spine of your knife is on the anvil and you want to hit this edge with either a rubber, uh, rubber or a wooden mallet and basically what that will do is it will straighten it out again so that what you end up with is your nice blade shape somewhere along those lines and then we'll punch in our holes handle holes with the punch and pritchel tools that's basically what we're going to be going for in this video Reduced it down a quarter inch. Okay, so for the next step, I have this tool that I made. It's basically one inch round bar that's welded to one inch square bar. So this is the tool that we'll use to make the indention for the Ricasso, uh, the finger hole choil, finger choil, whatever. It's about where your finger goes. That's the tool we'll use for that.
with this step. That took me a little longer than I was expecting. Uh, I had a power hammer last time I was doing this, so that made that step a lot easier. So we already got a little bit of a start to angle our handle. So I'll put it back in, we'll do the handle, and then we'll go to the next step. Basic handle shape is done, finger choil, blade. So the next step will be bringing this down to a point facing downwards. drawn out a little bit I'm gonna do it a little bit more and then I'm just gonna keep continue working on the bevels this part up here you can see got a little bit messed up so that'll just end up getting ground off in the profile This will probably take a couple heats, but you can see now that I'm starting to draw out the bevel, how the tip is starting to raise back up. Going back in for another heat. about it for drawing my blade out. I have a decent shape on it. The rest will get fixed up in the profiling. I'm going to do one more heat to try to even out the bevels a little bit. I got some pretty deep hammer marks in there. And then we'll flip it around and do the handle. pretty close to where I want it to be. It'll get cleaned up in the profiling. So I'm gonna flip it around and work on the handle now. good for my handle. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do one more heat on this and then put my stamp in it and I think that's going to be it for the uh, rough forging. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna wrap this up for this video. Um, here's my knife, rough forged out. 
finger hole, the Ricasso area, handle, blade. This is going to need a little bit of uh, profiling, obviously. I'm going to need to take this little rhino hump out of there. <laughs> um, but that's it. Not bad. It's been a while since I forged a knife, so, and I only did a few before this, so it's all a learning experience, right? So I just want to say uh, it's getting kind of late. <laughs> Uh, thank you for watching my video, and uh, hopefully you'll tune in for the next ones. And then I want to continue to do more videos like this. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and uh, give me a like if you liked it. And uh, I'm sure there's probably going to be a lot of com uh, comments about forging techniques and whatnot. But hey, I'm just a beginner. I'm not claiming to be any kind of a master smith or anything like that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.